Let's get some analysis now from Ephraim Sneh. He is a former minister, a former member of the Knesset, and a retired brigadier general with the IDF. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us on the program today. I just want to get your initial thoughts on everything that's been happening in Israel. I'm sad, but I'm happy. Uh, I'm sad of the deep rift in the Israeli society, but I'm very happy that at last the silent majority is no more silent. What you see in the pictures that you present, the masses in the streets, it's not only the silent majority. These are the people who give Israel its strength, its scientific, economic, military strength. This is the active, the entrepreneurial, the well-educated part of the Israeli society, and they say no to the dictatorship. That is the meaning of what you see here. How effective do you think that these protests will be effectively within the decisions that are being made in the Knesset? It leads unavoidably to a crisis. Unavoidably. Because if those legislation would not pass the, the verdict of the Supreme Court, the, the people who are in service of the government will have to decide to whom do they obey, to the Supreme Court or to the government? And I believe that they will decide that they obey to the court. And it brings, it brings the, the Israeli society to a constitutional crisis. And I believe that this constitutional crisis unavoidably will lead to another elections where this bad government will be over. Right. And uh, looking at the recent law that just uh, passed, it was fuel to the fire. People went out to protest that law as well, giving uh, more rights and safeguarding uh, Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu. What are your thoughts on that? And uh, where do you see the political process moving forward? Look, but what happened yesterday is legislation which is aimed to protect him to be, to be uh, uh, legally unable to govern. And he waited till this voting in the parliament to go out yesterday in public to, to give a speech of pseudo national unity, but to give the message, I am continue with all the speed uh, with this legislation. Mm -hmm. This is the meaning of it. All right, Ephraim Smith, thank you so much for joining us here on the News Hour and sharing that analysis with us. We appreciate it.